On this edition of HGTV, a fish dinner, awards, and... A Faith of Leap, night one. The news starts now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, FHS. We are back here on HDTV. I'm Maverick, a.k.a. Dallas. And I'm still Carl. Not Carl, not Walking Dead, just Carl. Dang it. Anyway, lines one and two, gonna be hot dogs. Line three, spicy chicken. Line four, quesadilla and stuffed crust pizza. And as usual, as to be expected. And once again, line five is closed. A happy birthday goes out to Ivan Salazar. Now over to sports with my man, Nick. Thanks, Dallas. On Wednesday, the Hot Dog Varsity softball team defeated Lafayette Jeff by a score of 13 to eight. On offense, Kareem Quinones went four for four with a home run. Chloe Roberts, Sidney Whitaker, and Morgan Dean each got three hits apiece. Avery Drew and Katie Roberts both had two hits, and Kiyomi Perkins went one for one on the day as well. Avery Drew got the win for the Hot Dogs, pitching three innings, allowing three runs on five hits, and striking out three. Michaela Harper pitched four innings in relief, allowing five runs on eight hits, and striking out six. The, dog, the Dogs are back in action at home tonight against conference, uh, against conference foe North Montgomery. In golf news, both Frankfurt and Clinton Central had canceled an upcoming match, freeing up, freeing up both teams' schedules, so they decided to schedule a golf match on April 30th at the Frankfurt Commons Golf Course. The teams will be teeing off at 4 p.m. That's all for sports. Good luck to all the teams in action tonight. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for updates on those games as well. Back to you, Dallas. The Frankfurt Lions Club will be hosting an all-you-can-eat fish dinner tonight at the 4-H building at the fairgrounds. Adult admission is $10. Children ages 5, five to 12 get in for $5. And those four and under get in for free. The Google form for Prom King slash Queen nominations will, will close tomorrow, so be sure to get your nominations in. Seniors, if you've paid for your cap and gown, but have yet to pick it up, please do so. They are in the main office. Congratulations to all, Clint, all the Clinton County students that participated in the Ed, Engage Clinton County College and Career Readiness Program this year and earn their governor's work ethic certificate. This certificate inc includes five subject measures, persistence, respectfulness, initiative, dependability, and efficiency. Each student award awarded the WEC will also be held to the following requirements. Complete six hours of community service, have a GPA of 2.0 or, or higher, or higher meet all graduation requirements, have a school attendance rate of 98%, have one or fewer discipline referrals for the year, Frankfurt High School's governor work, Governor's Work Ethic Certificate. Award winners are Kate Fortner, Lucy Fortner, Kimberly Hernandez Saavedra, Charles Hibbard, Jenna Rockhold, and Avery Drew. Hey, night one of Leap of Faith is in the books. There was a good crowd last night, and from what I've been hearing from those that were there, it was a pretty good show. Now, for those that weren't there, all I can ask is, what's wrong with you? Now, I obviously kid, but that doesn't mean that I didn't miss seeing your pretty little faces out in those seats. You still got two more nights to come, those being tomorrow night and Saturday night. Each show starting at seven, doors open, 6.30. Speaking of auditorium events, there will be a senior meeting in there during community. Don't look at the set, please. It's for paying customers only. And pick up student ambassador applications in the main office. The deadline to turn them in is to Mrs. Debris is April 30th. Mr. Van Dyne's community class should report to the auxiliary gym today. That's all for HGTV. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more news and updates while I leave you with this He-Man quote. By the power of Grayskull, He-Man, I have the power!
Yeah, 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 what, good, good day, have one, whatever. But about what you just said. This is a public service announcement from the National Association of Using Phrases That Make Sense. I find the use of the verbiage, stay tuned, while t we're talking about YouTube, to be asinine. You don't tune into a YouTube video, you tune into a radio. If we were talking about live streams,